Now, 24 minutes past nine, we cross to Fiona Byrne. What have you been up to, Fiona? Well, good evening, Bruce and Phil. I've been in Sydney today where I attended the Channel 9 launch of their 2012 programming schedule. Um, and there were a few interesting new shows that popped up. And right. I thought you might like to hear what they are. Yeah, that'll be lovely. Well, look out for The Voice. This is Channel 9's a very um, big investment in a, talent, in, a, in a talent show. So this is basically um, a singing quest to find the Australian who has the voice. We will see Delta Goodrum, Keith Urban, uh, soul, American soul singer Seal, and uh, Joel Madden from the band Good Charlotte. They will be the mentors slash judges on this show. That's a pretty serious um, lineup of singing talent there. Alone. Now, apparently the judges have their back to the artists. That's correct. They, they do a blind judging um, first time around. So the, the people come out, they perform, and the judges don't actually see what they look like. They pick whether they want to have the these people on their team or put them through to the next round solely on the strength of their voice. They don't actually see the person until after they've decided whether or not they're going to keep them in the show. Right. Will that come at a time when we've had almost a glut of these talent shows? Well, it's going to be very interesting because, uh, you know, as you say, we have got a lot of talent shows at the moment, ranging from formerly Australian Idol, which is no longer with us, but we have Australia's Got Talent, we've got X Factor, Channel 10's bringing back young talent time. So I, I guess, you know, Nine's going to roll the dice and say, no, we think that there's still an appetite for this particular show. They are certainly hoping there is. Mm. And I guess it, it just simply comes down to finding good talent. Yeah. If you get some kid on there who's got the X Factor, literally the X Factor, people will tune in to watch them. Right. As was seen this week with a young 16-year-old. Oh, right? yeah, Reese, little Reese from Adelaide who yeah. won Channel 7, so X Factor. Yeah. He was terrific. He really was gorgeous and, you know, hopefully a big career in front of him. All right, so what are the other areas? Is there any new cop shows or uh, quiz shows? Yes, I'll run through. So we have a weight loss show, a celebrity weight loss show called Excess Baggage. This is going to, we have, I'll run through the celebrities. Kevin Federline, he's a guy from America who used to be married to Britney Spears. Christine Arnoux, Kate DeRouge, Gabby Milgate, Darren Lyons, Brant Webb, who was um, one of the fellows who survived the Beacon Silk Mine collapse, oh, right. um, and AJ Rochester and Robert DiPier Domenico. Now, they are the celebrities that are going to be taking part in this weight loss challenge. That show is filming at the moment, and it'll be interesting to see if people want to see that. It sounds like Channel 9's version of The Biggest Loser. Um, Big Brother is coming back on Channel 9. You will see Sonia Kruger hosting this new version of Big Brother. It's called Big Brother Secrets. They're promising it's going to be a new house, new housemates, new twists, and of course the new host. Um, again, it's going to be quite interesting to watch and see whether or not the audience wants to watch Big Brother because, as we know, the show was originally screened here in Australia on Channel 10, and I think that I think we just ran out of path with that show. We got sick of the format. Yeah, and I hope this new version isn't too sleazy. Well, this is all. That was really the problem with Channel 10. Channel 10 got themselves into trouble because they did have you know a couple of seasons where there was some fairly grubby behaviour that went on in the house. So. I suspect Channel 9 will want to avoid that sort of behaviour. Um, I'd be interested to know from the listeners whether they want to see Big Brother coming back. Yeah. Um, moving on, there is a new drama coming from Channel 9. It's called Tricky Business. It's about a family of debt collectors, and it's going to star Shane Bourne, Gigi Edgley, Deborah Byrne, and Lincoln Lewis, who is a really very, very good young actor who's um, been around in doing Neighbours and Home and Away, so it's great to see him moving up into a big, serious um, adult drama. And Celebrity Apprentice is coming back next year. They announced that there will be a second series of this. They, they started casting already. Production started this week, and we'll see that on screen. They're saying um, in February when ratings start next year. Okay. That sounds good, doesn't it? And, and who did the launch today? It was launched, but the launch was actually hosted by Hamish and Andy, who were very, very funny, and they confirmed that they're coming back with a new series next year. They're taking their their skit show to London, so they're going to be doing a series out of London, which will go to air before the Olympics. Um, they were funny. They really were terrific. They spoke to Delta and um, Carl Stefanovic and Jacinta Campbell, so lots of network stars. Um, and the one who wasn't in the room, unfortunately, was Carrie Ann Kennelly. What's, what's the news? She wasn't invited oh. to the event, which was a bit sad. Um, and can I also say, Channel 9 is basing their schedule next year very much around the Olympics. It's 
um, a huge investment for them. And if you're a lover of sport and, and lover of the Olympic Games, Channel 9 is certainly going to be the, the free-to-air home to, uh, to tune in and see all the action mm. out of London. It does it pretty well does uh, good ratings every time it's on, doesn't it? Oh, the Olympics, absolutely. It's, it's two weeks of you, the best sporting endeavour you're going to see. Mm. And it's once every four years. And, of course, you know, we are very lucky here in Australia. We've got um, athletes and swimmers who excel in certain um, areas. And fingers crossed they bring home a lot of medals because one thing about... We all love a winner, and we love to see our um, our athletes and our Olympians do well. So when yeah. they do well, there's more bums on seats. And the time difference will shoot us to uh, London being maybe nine or ten hours behind us. Yeah, I think well, I always kind of get a bit confused with those time differences. But you know, the thing is, so there's going to be world world programming on Channel Nine, and they're going to put. And I must say, also Foxtel is going to be doing, I think, eight channels dedicated to the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So if you're keen for, um, you know, if you're keen for a, to see every minute of the Olympic Games, you will watch it. You will catch it somewhere on TV yeah. here in Australia. And that will be in July of next year. July of next year, July oh. August. Or any sign today of Bert Newton or Eddie Maguire? Uh, Eddie was up there. Eddie was up there in full flight. Eddie's um, obviously got millionaire hot seat that mm. is doing very well for him on Channel 9 and he, he's, um, he was in terrific form. Bert wasn't up there. Um, Bert's really not doing a lot for Channel 9 at the moment. You know, his, his show is 20 to 1 and he comes in and out and does, he films blocks of that show and then doesn't really have to go back in and do a lot of filming um, on a regular basis. So Bert didn't go up there, but we will see Bert hosting Starry Starry Night which is the big charity dinner here in Melbourne on Saturday for the Alana and Madeline Foundation. Where was, it, uh, where was it held today? It was held at a venue called Carriage Works in Sydney um, and they needed the space because they did a sit down lunch for about five, six, seven hundred people up Gee. there. So it was all, this was where they introduced this, you know, their, their raft of programming to the market. So what the, the audience was made up of media and sales, people in sales yeah. and media buyers, advertisers, yeah. and they are attempting, hopefully, uh, getting people to invest. Uh, are nine still at Willoughby? Um, yes, they are. So they've still got a big property out there. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. and they've, obviously, they've shifted here in Melbourne to the Dockland uh, and sold off that site that was in Richmond where they spent so much time. But yes, they're still up at Willoughby in, in Sydney. Now, what do you make of the Kyle Sandyland situation, oh, which you would be aware of? I am aware of it, yes. Kyle, who just... You know, verbally attacked a journalist for uh, her for her review of his show that went to air on um, Monday night. Look, distasteful, completely mm. unnecessary, and most unfortunate. And I just think he's rude. That's what I think. Mean. Uh, you know, he's making his name this way, isn't he? Oh, it's horrible. And it's interesting. There's been a number of um, advertisers who have actually pulled out of his radio show today, as in protest of his outburst. Um, earlier this week and I, was, I just think it's unnecessary and rude and completely unacceptable and I, but I think there's got to be some grace if you put a program out there that is fairly reviewed and the review isn't in your favour well you know you can't launch you know, a personal attack on someone who's done the review it's, oh. a, it's an objective review it is an objective review but you see when sponsors like Holden and Good Guys and uh, Vodafone are potentially well, that's cutting, cutting out of the program, yes. that's, that speaks volumes. You know, that's where it really hits the station and the network harder well, it than just anything. Well, it simply underlines the fact that it's unacceptable behaviour. Okay, great uh, crit on what happened in Sydney. Thanks, Fiona. And we can read your pages in the Herald Sun on Saturday. That's correct, and thank you. Lovely to talk to you both. Yeah, right. nice to talk, uh, chat to you too, Fiona. Have a great uh, week ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fiona Byrne, and you can read uh, Spilsers in Saturday's Herald Sun. Yes, he came under a very stinging attack, Kyle Sanderlands. There's a yeah. fine line there mm -hmm. that you... Uh, I mean, there are, they call them shock jocks. I don't know if that's a very American expression. But... Uh, in Sydney, aren't they? Oh, uh, very much. Uh, I was surprised that Bert and Patty went to his wedding. I didn't think he would be their sort of person. No, you can't judge that. You can, he's, he's going, might be a totally different person off camera. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's uh, part of the course, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Well, I wasn't invited. That's yeah, that's, just, that's what you're dirty on. <laughs>